Hi everyone. This video is going to give you a brief introduction to some of the commands we'll be using to work with files and programs during the course of the quarter. Uh, if you can, watch this while you're at one of the lab machines, but if you can't for the first time, just follow along. Uh, we do recommend that you use the lab computers in the basement of the CSE building uh, for your first few assignments. Uh, we'll be getting out instructions for how to work on your own machines, but uh, at the beginning it's going to be easier uh, if you work in the labs. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do here is uh, I've just logged into one of the lab machines, and I'm going to go to this Applications menu, and in System Tools, open up this terminal program. We're going to be using this program called Terminal uh, quite a bit this quarter. Um, and this is going to let us run a whole bunch of different commands that do useful things for us. Uh, it's worth pointing out we call this thing uh, all the way up to the dollar sign here, the prompt. It's prompting us for input. Uh, it has my username, which is CS8AF. Yours will have some extra letters after the F. Those are just random and part of your username. Uh, and then it has the machine I'm logged into, which is uh, B230. I'm in room B230 right now, and this is machine number six. Uh, so the first command I'm going to run uh, is called Atom. Uh, I'm going to run uh, ATOM space dot and then press enter. And it's going to open up this other window. Uh, and this is the program called Atom. Uh, we call it a text editor or just an editor for short. Um, this is like a stripped down version of Microsoft Word or Google Doc. It's really just for editing plain text. And uh, you might have uh, interacted with programs like TextEdit or Notepad that are similar to this. And this is a, it's a professional editor for working with code. Uh, the first time you open it up, it'll have all these windows open uh, about a guide uh, and a welcome window. Uh, you can configure these however you want. Feel free to explore some of this documentation. But, uh, I'm going to close them all for this video because we're just going to make some simple files. Uh, so one of the things you'll see is that there's a whole bunch of files listed here uh, in this project pane. And uh, this, uh, these are all in this directory called CS8AF, uh, which is my username. You'll see your username uh, uh, appearing here uh, at this top level in this project pane. Um, these uh, are a mix of just normal configuration files and things you might be used to seeing, like your desktop folder, documents folder, um, downloads, and so on. Uh, we're not going to interact with most of these. We're going to make some new stuff uh, to test this out. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here to the uh, top level, CS8AF looking room with my username, and create a new folder. I'm going to call the new folder hello. This window says enter the path for the new folder. I'm going to say hello. Um, we're going to see a new folder uh, or directory. We'll use the words folder and directory interchangeably. Uh, has been created there. Um, to create a file in here, we right click and we say new file. Uh, you can see that uh, the way this is uh, showing us the name, it says hello slash, and that's going to mean inside the directory hello. Uh, and I'm going to call this file uh, first file.txt. Now, uh, the first file part is just descriptive uh, for us, for people. Uh, the thing after the dot we call the file extension, uh, and then that's use, useful for people to read if that tells us, txt tells us that it's a plain text file. And sometimes your operating system will use that to decide how to open and display the file. Uh, so this is a plain text file. You can see it opens up over here, <clears throat> and I can write text in it. I'm going to say welcome to CSE 8 one of the things that editors for code usually do is show the line number of the text in the file. So over here you'll see one, two, and three uh, will show up uh, on the different lines. Uh, so I'm going to save this with file save. I think we'll also press control S. Um, and if we look inside the hello uh, folder in the file explorer now, uh, we will find first file.txt there. One thing uh, that's interesting uh, about the uh, terminal is it also has facilities for looking at files and folders. So another command, in addition to Atom, that we'll use a lot, uh, is ls. So I can use uh, this command ls. And what ls does is it lists files. Um, so I said I'd come back to this dot. I didn't explain this when I first opened Atom. What dot means is 
uh, the current directory. Um, but this means is this terminal is always open and uh, referring to a particular directory. In this case, uh, it's referring to the one named with our username. Now, so I'm going to use dot again, and we're going to see OS list uh, a bunch of uh, directories that actually are all directories that are contained in uh, uh, this uh, same directory view we can see in Atom. Um, there actually is a way to see all these things that start uh, with dots that are configuration files. Um, just to satisfy your curiosity, even though we're not going to uh, need this very often, we can do ls-a, uh, uh, and it'll show us all these dot files. Uh, these dotted files are all just little configuration files. You don't really need to interact with them at all, um, but they're there uh, in the way these systems are set up. Um, so uh, another thing we can do with ls is we can ask ls, hey, what's inside this uh, folder we just made called hello? And uh, if we give it the name of a directory, uh, it'll show us the contents of the directory. So we can see that uh, in the terminal, when we do ls hello, we see that first file is the contents, uh, whereas, and that mirrors what uh, is present in the file explorer in Atom. Um, so we created a directory and a file using Atom. Uh, let's see how to create a directory and a file using uh, just the terminal. So I'm going to run the command mkdir. Uh, make a directory called ola, you can see uh, that if I ls, there's now a directory there called ola, and uh, if we go back to Atom and explore in the project view, there's also a directory called ola there. Um, so uh, we could use ls on ola, well there's nothing in it, so it won't print anything right now. Let's say we wanted to make a file in there, uh, we can run Atom, and uh, we can give Adam the name of specific files, uh, and we'll see that they open in our currently running uh, Adam window. So I run Adam space ola second file, which is up over here, and I can write uh, 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 OEP here. Save that. And um, I have two files now, first file and second file stored in these separate directories. Okay. Um, so what I just did in the terminal, mkdir, and then opening things with Atom, uh, again mirrored what I did by clicking around in the Project Explorer and in Atom itself. Okay, um, so we want to show you one more command in this video, um, and it's a command for copying files around. Um, and uh, one of the things you're going to need to do uh, a lot is uh, look up commands. I don't remember what all these commands do myself, uh, so I'm going to go ahead and open up a web browser. <clears throat> and uh, I remember the command I want to use to copy file. It's just named uh, cp, uh, but I don't really mem uh, remember what it does. It turns out uh, googling manual and then the name of the command is always a good way to get to its documentation. So let's look at the first link here. Uh, and it says the CP is for copying files and directories. The thing we're mostly interested in, so what I want to show, is that we can take do CP with a source and a destination uh, and get, uh, copy that source to the destination. Um, let's try it out. Um, and I'm going to ignore this stuff uh, here for the moment. That's all the different options I can get to it. If we'd sc uh, scroll down in the, d the um, uh, documentation for CP, we'd see there's lots of options we could use. Uh, but right now, I just want to show how to copy one file. So we're going to do cp, and I want to let's say I wanted to copy second file.txt into hello and copy of second.txt. Uh, think think uh, think about what you think is going to happen right now. So I run it. And, oops, uh, we get a little error message here. Uh, it says cannot stat second file.txt no such file or directory. Uh, that happened because second file.txt is inside the ola directory. It's not inside the directory that we're in. Uh, so if I wanted to do this, I actually could uh, uh, use cp on ola second file.txt, copy that into hello, uh, copy of second.txt, and we see it show up uh, in the hello directory here. Um, and uh, if we look at it in Atom, see that it actually has the same text as second file. Okay. Uh, um, 
again see that we use some commands over here. Uh, Atom and the file system view through the terminal are reflecting the same underlying files and directory. Okay, um, so uh, I wanted to give you one other command, uh, one other uh, uh, way to view this. I talked a lot about the terminal being uh, viewing a current directory. Um, there's a way to print that out. So if I type the command pwd, uh, we can see that we're in home, Linux, ieng6, that's the name of the systems we're running on. This is the name of the class we're in, and this will be your username. If you run this, you'll see your username. And there's another command called cp uh, that'll let us change into a different directory. So cd space in one of these directories. Um, and now if I pwd, you can see that uh, this whole lot part of it again. And if I use ls on dot which is the current directory, uh, we see that there's just second file dot text here, which matches what we see uh, in the uh, files here. So uh, there's a couple different ways to manipulate files. Uh, you'll mostly use uh, Atom and Atom's uh, uh, file explorer to do this work, um, but you will use some of these commands and your first programming assignment will mostly be using these commands. And they're going to be handy all throughout the course. Um, you don't have to log onto any particular machine to use these. All the machines in the basement of the CSE building all use the same file system for you. So uh, you'll be able to see your files uh, through Terminal and through Atom uh, the same way no matter what machine you log into. Um, so that's all for now.